G'day, everybody. Welcome G'day. to Good Pops React. You're me, BP1 and BP2. <laughs> Terrible it's words, the dick. I am it's a dick. dick. I am a dick. Uh, welcome to Brit Pops React. Uh, we're a couple of Brits, by the way. Uh, All right. 50 things that are only possible in Australia, all right? So on the channel, you've seen us do a lot of stuff in America, uh, information, yep. things that are in America that aren't everywhere else, rude words, stuff like that. Uh, we thought we'd see some of our Aussie friends as well. Uh, 50 things that are only possible in Australia, okay? It sounds a lot, uh, but it's not. It's quite a quick video. Uh, so we're going to go through... And watch this one. Yep, uh, and of course this is sort of uh, intertwined with our uh, build up to the AFL, Aussie Rules Football, which we're following this year, and um, some of our yeah. uh, Australian bands and uh, singers that we've been doing, Farnsey and Barnsey. Uh, so yeah, let's see what the guys down in Australia have that we don't have. Well, that are only possible out there. All right, then let's give it a whirl. Uh, hey, okay, it's pop say. quiz time. Which okay. country has the longest fence in the world? Longest How about fence? the second largest Greek population? Um, what? three times more sheep than people? Okay, yeah. one word will give it away. Kangaroos! Yeah, I'm talking about the land down under. Well, that's so, what, the video's what do you called? know about Australia? Not so, let's start with the name. Australia comes from the Latin word Australis, which means Australia. southern. Okay. Way back in the second century, right. there were legends of a mysterious Terra Australis incognita, or it's unknown southern land. Well, oh, yeah. now it's very known. So let's get to know more about it. Despite the stereotypes of hot, sunny weather year-round, the Australian Alps, which are the highest mountain range in the country, get more snow than the Swiss Alps do. No uh, way. Better grab I your skis. No. The know world's that. longest national highway is in Australia. It stretches for over 9,000 miles. For comparison, what? the Earth's diameter is about 7,900 miles. It's actually a network of highways that connects all capitals of the mainland states. Now, okay. I'm sure you've heard of the Great Wall of China, but what yep. about the Great Fence of Australia? Okay, nope. that's not what it's called, nope. but still, the dingo <laughs> fence in southeast Australia dingo stretches for nearly 3,500 miles. For comparison, it would easily oh, cover the entire way. span of the U.S., from Los Angeles to Houghton, Maine. What? Now, what? it might not be so surprising to know that Australia is huge. It's about the same size as the continental U.S., about 2,500 miles wide. The distance okay. from the west to east coast is further than Barcelona to Moscow. In all, wow. Australia is the world's sixth largest country and the okay. only one that's also a whole continent. But with all that territory, oh, yeah, yeah. over 80% of Australians live within 60 miles of the coast. This makes the yeah. country one of the okay. most coastal dwelling populations in the world. And well, that means a whole lot of beaches. Yeah, in fact, they have so many that if you decided to visit a new beach every day, it would take you almost 30 years to see them all. <laughs> the biggest property in Australia is about 40,000 square miles in area. South Korea biggest could fit property. into it with room to spare. The country's termites are busy building huge properties as well. Their okay. mounds are the tallest animal-made structures on this planet. Yeah. Wow. Before humans arrived, the continent was home to megafauna, Okay. If you lived there about 46,000 years ago, you'd be dead today. But you should right. have seen 10-foot-tall kangaroos, 23-foot-long goanna lizards, and ducks the size of an adult horse. Quack. What? <laughs> okay. Mate. Uh, there's yeah. so much information to be taken in here. I mean, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm guessing all the things that you're hearing... Yes. He's only in Australia because I mean, he hasn't he hasn't started by going number one, number two. I think it's just everything he's saying it's, yeah. is the fifty things. I mean, I didn't realize. I mean, I knew obviously the size, knew the size, yep, and I knew that most of Australians are obviously around the side, a lot of ninety five percent of us. <laughs> yeah, so I knew about that, but I just there's so many things here. I mean, come on, a kangaroo like what did he say? Uh, Twenty foot tall. A, do uh, a duck as big as a horse. Yeah, I mean, forty-six thousand years ago, when there was nothing there that you know, uh, when they evolved that that sort of size. Wow. Well, not now. Not now. Well, no. Obviously, that would be pretty right. damn <laughs> okay. scary, wouldn't it? So just I checking. Mean... Just checking in with you. <laughs> Twenty-three um... foot lizard. <laughs> I can believe uh... that. Obviously, dinosaurs were huge. I mean, uh, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty special place, though, isn't it? I mean, I'm, I'm just yep. just by 
learning what we've learned so far, I'm a bit of an eye opener. Um, just the vastness of it. Well, I mean, the size of that fence, uh, the dingo fence. It didn't oh, explain why. I mean, is that to keep dingoes in or out or something like that? Um, but that was stretched across the whole of the, the US. That's a lot of uh, fencing. I mean, when you got that contract, I bet you were rubbing your hands, weren't you? Yeah. Oh, uh, what about well, the beaches, though. If you visit a beach every day, it take years. you thirty years. I mean, that is incredible amount of beaches. I oh, know. Wow, amazing. Amazing. All right, let's keep yep. keep on keep Quack. going. The largest living structure on the planet is the Australian Great Barrier Reef. Uh, By the yeah, way, I've it has its own it. mailbox, and there's a rumor that the fish there use eel mail. Oh, yeah. very oh, Neither no. kangaroos nor emus can walk backward. That's a fact, and that's why they're painted on the Australian coat of arms. Oh. Keep moving oh. forward. The platypus, an egg-laying mammal that lives only in Australia, is one of the rare venomous mammals on this planet. Luckily, while the venom has an excruciatingly painful effect on people, it's not lethal. The takeaway? Oh, don't fuss the with the platypus. Okay. By the way, when the first platypus was brought to England, people there were sure that it was a joke. The English believed that Australians had sewn a duck's bill onto a rat's body to play <laughs> well, a trick on them. Yeah, they're always mucking right about down there. Bit them. They're not laughing now, are you? <laughs> Swimming in the surf bit. during the day had been illegal in Australia up until 1902. But after okay. one guy calmly entered the waves of Manly Beach one afternoon that year, surf bathing became increasingly popular. Okay. The largest Greek population outside of Greece itself say, is in Australia. Actually, to be more Why? precise, in Melbourne. More than 160,000 people who live there say they come from Greek descent. Melbourne okay. was the okay. richest city in the world in 1880. These days, right. Tokyo, Japan holds this title. And okay. until 2018, Melbourne had been rated as the most livable city in the world for seven years in a row. But then, it was bumped down to second place, after Vienna, Austria. Come on, Melbourne, get back in the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, One come of on, Melbourne's I mean, founders three was teams John that we've Batman. Done, sorry, the three teams that we've got in... Um, well, we're sticking on Melbourne quite a bit here. Obviously, yes. we're following AFL, aren't we? There's a whole yeah. new uh, video on us telling you who our teams are. So I won't spoil it, but three of them... Yeah. Well, well, there are only three. The channel team, my team, and your team are all Correct. from Melbourne. Well, actually, Melbourne. Western Bulldogs, are they? I know. Western we'll Bulldogs, give you that no. one. Yeah, no, I'm not sure you. about that one. But the other two, they're both from Melbourne. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> anyway. Two out of three ain't bad. Defo. <laughs> all right, mate. Keep going. <laughs> yep, that was his real name. And get this. John, John Batman. The city was temporarily called Batmania. Too Brilliant. bad they decided to change it to Robinville. <laughs> yeah. In 2018... Australia ranked team. third after Norway and Switzerland on the Human Development Index. This okay. index is based on education, life expectancy, and citizens' income. Basically, they got a good thing going down under there. Yep. In 2005, yeah, nice. security guards at the Parliament House in Canberra were prohibited from calling people mate. But the ban oh. only lasted for a day, mate. G'day! G'day. If you're ever in G'day. Western Australia, you can visit one that. of their many super salty pink lakes. Wow. They get the okay. bubblegum hue from a certain type of algae and bacteria. And they're totally safe to swim in. Really? Just be okay. careful what you chew. Oh, and be sure to take a selfie while you're swimming in what looks like a giant pool of Pepto-Bismol. You can thank Australia for coming up with the word selfie in the first place. Really? Uh -huh. There are okay. about 74 million sheep to 25 million people in Australia. Which makes an impressive ratio of 3 to 1. Only China and India yep. have more than that. Oh, and the kangaroo thing is totally true. There are twice as many kangaroos as there are people there. That's 50 wow. to 25 million. Wow. Speaking of which, a of when a baby a kangaroo is born, it's only yep. half an inch long. It's also hairless and totally pink. Kind of looks like a gummy bear. What else is there in Australia? <laughs> Oh, that's right, koalas. <laughs> and okay. to top that, there are 10 times more camels than koalas. Australia is the source of a lot wow. of the Middle East's camels. Really? Well, in Western Australia, it's against the law to be in possession of more than 110 pounds of potatoes. Well, every country what? has its obscure, bizarre laws. 
The architect of the world-famous Sydney Opera House got the idea of this unique construction while munching on an orange. If you combine all the sails of the building's roof, Same you'll get a orange. perfect sphere. The most oh, ancient see. fossils in the world were okay. found in Australia. They were no less than 3.4 billion years old, wow. even older than my leftovers in the fridge. There are so oh, many different me. species in this country that only 25% of them have been discovered so far. 25% of the animals discovered Hang to on. be 25% have been discovered. Yeah, I, I find this bizarre, these sort of... How can you say that? Because you can only give a percentage if you know the full amount. It's like, oh, well, 75% out of there that we've already found, but we haven't found, are yeah. out there. So yeah. it's obviously an estimate. But that is a, that is quite low. I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I, yeah. Is he including the seas? Because we know, we know there's a lot in the seas that we, we wouldn't have known. But on land, you would have thought... We well, said animals, not mammals. Right. Well, yeah, but even still, I still think twenty-five percent. It's ever so difficult one to state, isn't it? Yeah, seventy-five percent. I mean, percent. and of the twenty-five percent that we do know of, most of them out there can kill you in one way or another. In Australia, so you don't want to <laughs> you don't want to go and find those other seventy-five percent, do you? Because you know they're not going to be uh, friendly. All furry little unicorns. Yeah. Oh, what's what this? Donk. Oh, donk. <laughs> Oh, right, yeah, that's 1%. That's another yeah, one. Yeah. We found that oh, one. Well, that kills you. We haven't you. got an antidote to that Dick. one because we've only just found it. Brilliant. Wow. Okay. And well. have they not found the other 75% because they're too busy surfing? What? Just go out and have a look? Bizarre. No, it's a funny comment. Native yeah. to Australia, none have hooves. Burger Ooh. King Ooh, miraculously herbs. turns into Hungry Jacks as soon as you land in Australia. It's the Aussie franchise of the famous fast food chain. Australia is a unique <coughs> continent that doesn't house any active volcanoes. It's also Run. the flattest continent on our planet. But wow. it's got plenty of mountains, and one of them is called Mount Disappointment. <laughs> Disappointment. It's just 2,600 feet tall, and naturally, right. explorers William Hovell and Hamilton Hume expected to see a great view from the top. However, after climbing the mountain, they discovered that there were too many trees growing on top and blocking the view completely. <laughs> Guess how the men felt? Uh huh. This is Australia weird. has tons of unique flora and fauna species that you won't find anywhere else in the world. Among Why those are a staggering 1,500 spider species. Spider yeah, species. Go. Yeah. There you yeah, go. We don't want to be talking about that. And we are. While some of them are fatally poisonous, most are completely harmless. But yeah, how do I tell them apart? Oh, the exactly. poisonous ones wear signs. Got it. It's also where you'll find 21 right. of the world's top 25 most venomous snakes. More go. than 90% of Australia is covered with some kind of vegetation. Since 1988, wow. Australia has had a national floral emblem, and it's the golden wattle. When this plant okay. blooms, it gets covered with the country's national colors, green and gold. Yeah, yeah. Australia right. is a multinational country with more than 200 different languages and dialects spoken there. The most well, popular okay. non-English languages are Mandarin, Greek, Arabic, Vietnamese, and Cantonese. Wow. There are 19 yeah, UNESCO right here, World Heritage yeah, Sites in Australia, yeah. including 12 natural sites, 3 cultural sites, and 4 okay. mixed sites. The difference between Australia's total length and its width is only 200 miles. Really? That hey, is... do you have an 8-hour... So weird, isn't it? Yeah. Because like, I yeah, always it look at it. I mean, where's really the globe? Wonderful. And I've got, yeah, you know, just, just, I, I need to check that on the, on the actual globe. I mean, mm. you obviously see it on Google Maps or whatever, but I always think it's wider. But I suppose those two points. So no, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. You've obviously no, said no, it's no. true, but. Uh, because they're, like you say, probably because of the thinness of them, you don't sort of register them yeah. as being that long. Yeah. They'll be that long. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> me. Do you have an eight hour working day? I do. You can thank Australian stonemasons for working that. day. You can right. thank Australian stonemasons for that. In 1865, they demanded to make eight hour shifts the standard, and it spread throughout the world from there. Wow. With eight people okay. per square mile, Australia has an extremely low population eight density. Per square mile. For comparison, there <laughs> are about crazy. 93 people per square mile in the US. 
The National Australian Airline, Qantas, uses recycled cooking oil to power its interstate flights. Really? So, have I missed any cool facts about Australia? Let me know down in the comments. Wow. If you learned something new today, then give me... Yeah. There was a lot in the, on there. So, yeah, we'll give that a thumbs up. Yeah, yep. Let's do it now. Boom. There you go. Share it with your friends. Uh, it's very informative. Uh, yeah, it was good. Yeah. I mean, so much going on there to take it all in and process it, you know, in, in the space of a few minutes. But um, some interesting facts. Um, yeah. Yeah. She None of their kangaroos. Can. I mean, it's it's uh, it's sort of like an animal haven, isn't it? I mean, obviously, mm. the amount of people that's there anyway. Um, Eight people per square mile. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's not ridiculous. a lot at all, is it? No, no. Wow, it's incredible. I mean, the the land. I mean, it's just so big. It's just, but no, it's just so uninhabitable, isn't it? And in, in yeah. certain parts of it, it's just it's so hot and barren. There's just it's you've got to have that infrastructure. It's just got to build and build and build in. That's how, you, that's yeah, once how you it run all, out. Yeah, that's how it works, isn't it? With any of land, I guess, in that way, you know. But um, you know, really looking forward to getting involved with Australia and starting to understand yeah, a little bit stop. more about the continent and uh, you know the country, the people. Um, so make sure you do join us at Brit Pops React if I haven't Please said do. it already. Please hit the subscribe button and come with us. Yeah, as BP Two said, you know we've got a full season of AFL ahead of us where we'll be checking in every uh, every so often with you know the three teams that we sort of we follow on the channel yep. um you know and we're watching it watching a bit of that doing and a bit we're of doing that yeah we're we're, we're Barnsley, dig out Barnsley. Some more Barnsley and Farnsley and other guys uh we'll dig out some more um interested to learn about the states and the territories and stuff like that so I think we'll put yes. that on our radar for, for for soon so yeah thanks for joining us did you learn anything new none of the animals have hooves hmm interesting yeah, that is an interesting one. Uh, well, thanks for joining us at Brit Pops React today. Uh, until tomorrow, it's a goodbye from me. Uh, goodbye from him. Goodbye. Adios.